G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, we're all set up for another night of uh, imaging. Now, I've decided I'm gonna add um, some more data to my Blue Horsehead Nebula because I really like how that image is turning out. Uh, so uh, this will probably be the most amount of data I've added to a single uh, image ever since I've owned the uh, Celestron Rasa. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to see uh, how this is gonna turn out. Uh, to give you guys a bit of an idea on what I'm shooting with tonight, I've got my Celestron C-Gem mount. Um, it's getting very old now, I've had it for a long time, it's done a lot of travelling with me. Uh, so hopefully in the future, sometime, I'll be able to upgrade it um, to maybe a CGX mount or something like that. But uh, for the time being, she's still holding strong. I've got my Celestron Rasa uh, with the ZWO ASI uh, 294 MC Pro camera and on the back here I've got my Celestron um, electronic focus motor which I absolutely love it's made me um, it's been able to uh, help me achieve sharper focus and better focus stars um, using that focuser although saying that uh, the first night I shot uh, the Blue Horse Head Nebula I did have some trouble focusing but that was just it was just me I was just rushing everything just didn't happen that night but uh, I was able to get uh, 300 photographs um, before the moon rose so I was pretty happy with that and tonight I'm going to add about the same I'm going to shoot about 330 second exposures to uh, add to the previous data I've already got so I'm really excited to see how that turns out um, with all that being said uh, I think I'm going to start to uh, setting up my my um, shot for tonight so uh, I'll report back to these guys a bit late. guys it's almost time for me to pack up and uh, I was able to capture my 300 photographs for my um, blue horse head nebula to add on to the previous uh, 300 frames that I've already captured so uh, this is going to be hopefully a really nicely detailed image fingers crossed um, but yeah the imaging session went really well again 30 second exposures um, I was using a gain of uh, 300 um, with my ASI um, 294 MC Pro camera and the reason for that is because I wanted to keep uh, exposures levels um, relatively quickly but shoot more of them to hopefully um, reduce that noise. Uh, again minus 10 degrees for the camera and I haven't been using any guiding because uh, again that 30 second exposure. Um, so uh, yeah everything's been really good. Um, it's been a beautiful night out here the gloves aren't on so it's not super cold <laughs> but the jacket is <laughs> it might have just been being a, a wuss i don't know but um yeah i've really uh, really enjoyed tonight's session um if you've enjoyed this video guys don't forget to uh, give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment or um if you're new to this channel um, please feel free to check it out and if you enjoy it uh, hit that subscribe button because we've got plenty more uh, deep space astro images to shoot uh, earlier on uh, later on in the year sorry and uh, some of my fantastic uh, panoramic nightscape images that I just love to shoot later on in the year as well um, so yeah with all that being said I'm going to call it a night guys until next time take it easy see ya
I forget, I've also shot a bonus image for these guys uh, for tonight. So uh, I hope you enjoy that too. Thank you.